Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday Hasbro revealed promo images for the Black Series Luke and Grogu build-up pack from the Book of Boba Fett, so let's take a quick look at it. Here is a shot of the packaging and right away we see that it's a bigger box so that means this will be a deluxe set which was to be expected because just recently Grogu with few accessories was released as a standard release and was priced as a standard Black Series figure. As we saw before Hasbro is using a render image for the front of the box and it shows us Luke with his lightsaber and the backpack used for Jedi training. Besides him, Grogu is posed as he is jumping from the rock while a training droid ball blasts at the rock on which we also see a frog. On the side of the box we see an illustration of Luke with Grogu in a backpack and as always the artwork looks great. Now we know that all of these illustrations connect together and form a mural for your display. If I'm not mistaken, this set will be number 3 for the Book of Boba Fett line. Fennec was first and the Boba Throne Room was number 2. And if you take a closer look behind Grogu, you can see who will be our number 4 for this line. And yes, it will be Bowser. No, not Bowser, but Black Kersantan. Man, can't wait to see how this guy will look like. Here are Luke and Grogu that we are getting in this set and when we compare this new look with the one from the Mandalorian, we can see that it's not a simple reuse. It looks like it's a new head sculpt, new body overlay and new boots and all of that is more accurate to the scenes from the show. Grogu looks like the same figure that we got before and here we see a rock base accessory with a bit of sculpted grass on it. We also get a translucent part so that we can pose Grogu like he is jumping or in this case being pulled up by Luke using the force. In this image we get another scene recreated from the show. Luke is running with Grogu in a backpack and I'm not sure but is there a peg on this rock piece? Because they are showing it here like it's a kind of stand for Luke. In this image we see a recreation of the choice scene. The set gives us a box with Yoda's lightsaber hilt inside and a plastic representation of Grogu's Mandalorian armor being packed in a cloth piece to look like Grogu's head. And then another recreation from the same scene where we see that we are getting ignited Yoda's lightsaber. And Hasbro team said that it was too difficult to make the blade removable from such a small hilt so they gave us one with the blade and one without it. If I'm not mistaken, the lightsaber that came with first Black Series Yoda had the removable feature but I'm guessing that this new saber is smaller because that first Yoda was too big and out of scale for the line. Here is a closer a look at Luke's and Grogu's face. In this image we see that we are getting a stand for the training ball and both these accessories, the ball and the, the stand, are reused from Skywalker Strike set. We see again this little space frog that we got when Grogu was first released. Then we have a nice shot of Luke posing with his lightsaber, training like in the scenes from the show. Here is another shot with a rock accessory and Luke's unignited saber. We have a shot from the box cover with training ball firing at Grogu who jumps to avoid the blast. The blast piece is also reused from Skywalker Strike set. I always say that it's a shame that they don't give us more these types of firing effects in the line, so it's great that they are giving us one in this set. And again, here is that translucent mini stand for Grogu's jumping poses. And notice how they are hiding the connecting spot for that stand? I'm assuming that there is a peg that can be used either for Luke feet or for Grogu stand. And finally here is a promo shot of the box that opens and reveals Yoda's lightsaber hilt. Am I the only one who thinks how it's funny that this little accessory got its own glam shot? But it's great, it's, uh, it's great that they are giving us all of these things in this build-up pack as they call it. It's a nice set, its price will be around $45 US and it should be released in fall of 2023. For me it's a pass, I don't need another look or Grogu in my collection. I have the SH Figure Arts look from The Mandalorian on pre-order, so that's the one I went with. I also already have few Grogu's and uh, some of these accessories that will be in this set, so again it's a pass for me, but that doesn't mean that this is a bad set. I think that it's a good release. The price is standard for today's deluxe Black Series releases and uh, I 
probably like most of you guys don't like the price, but it is what it is. It's a problem if you are looking to complete that side art mural, but uh, otherwise it's not a problem to skip on it. And that's it from me for this video. That's all I wanted to say about these promo images for Luke and Grogu build a pack. Now it's your turn. If you want, tell me down in the comments what you think about this set, do you plan on getting it or it's a pass for you. Let me know. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.